Hey, how's it going everyone? Brad Smith here with Automation Links. Today I wanna to go over some automation tools that you can use for your website. Now our website is automationlinks.com. Everything we do is all about automation, making life easier for you, and making it simpler for you to create a better relationship with your clients. So I'm gonna show you a couple slides here that explains some tools that we use and some techniques that we use for our business. So the first thing I want you to remember is this should be all about relationships. And that's what we coach in our relationship marketing framework. How can you build better relationships with people that come to your website? And that's where you wanna follow up with some automation because you're not able to be on your website all day, you know, meeting people, talking to them, um, just like you would face-to-face -face in your business. So that's why you wanna use tools in a relationship way to build the relationship, communicate with your prospects. So number one, I want you to think about your forms. So a lot of times we have contact forms uh, on the contact page, but really that's the only way people can get a hold of us. Uh, so by only having one contact form, a generalized form that people just feel like they won't get responded to if they fill it out. About 90% of contact forms never even get responded to. So your customers, when they come to your site, they just have that expectation knowing or feeling like they might not even get responded to, or at least uh, maybe they can't express what they're looking for or how you're gonna be able to help them. So when you're creating your website, you're making it all about your client, their pain points, and how you can help them. So that's why you can set up a multiple choice form, asking them exactly what they're looking for, asking them what services would be best, what um, experience that they're looking for to help them, and then you can use that in your multiple choice and it's much more likely they're gonna fill it out and complete the form if you make some questions easy to answer and also around their pain points and what exactly they're looking for. So when somebody comes to our website, we know that they're looking for some of these services here. So they're looking for scheduling software, automation services, live chats, uh, like down here. So we're able to put these on this form so now it resonates with the visitor. Oh, hey, if I'm interested in email marketing, I'm in the right place because they obviously offer that. It's in their multiple choice form. So you want to make it around your business, uh, your clients. What are they looking for? What services you can offer them? And then they're going to feel like they, they're they going to be more comfortable reaching out and filling out that form from there. And then number two, you can connect those forms, all of your forms, anything or any action someone takes on your site. Connect it with Zapier, um, which is an integration tool. They're like the middleman. So let's say your form, you want anyone to fill out the form to go to MailChimp, uh, you can either do a direct integration with MailChimp, or if your website or software doesn't allow it, you can just connect with Zapier. So Zapier will allow everything to get automated and connected together. And that's what we use for a lot of our tools. We use um, MailChimp for our email marketing, and then HubSpot for our CRM, and then our website. So we're able to sync all three together. So if anyone reaches out, on our website, they're automatically gonna go to our HubSpot and our MailChimp. So we can email them or call them, follow up with them. So use Zapier to connect all your softwares together. And we go in and we help businesses like yours, just go get it all synced up. So while you're busy working with your clients, you know that your prospects are going to the right places. Now, why do you want to have everything automated and have all these tools connected? Because you want these people to get followed up with. Most of the time when they come to the website, they have one or two questions that need to be answered before making a decision. So are you there answering those one to two questions for them? Or are you just leaving them hang and following up with them in a couple days? So if you're the one, the business, that's answering those questions for them automatically right away, you're gonna be, it's gonna be a game changer. You're gonna be the expert, the authority, and the business they're most likely gonna go and hire to work with. And then autoresponders, this is not newsletters. Autoresponders need to at least tell them you got their, their message. Tell them what to expect next. As an example, when someone fills out the form on automationlinks.com forward slash start, they get an automated email telling them, thanks for filling out the form, your next step is to schedule. And then after that, they get another email, your next step is to watch this video. And what I'm doing is trying to build a relationship through email but also telling them where they can go next. So they don't just fill out a contact form on our website and that's it, right? We wanna continue building that relationship, sending them videos, sending them your scheduler, sending them testimonials, building a stronger relationship all from automation. 
while you're working with your clients. And then the last automated tool you can use are sales funnel. And I'll show you an example of ours in a minute, but a sales funnel is exactly what I just mentioned. It starts them at the top. They're either coming from social media, Google, or a referral, right? And then all they have to do is go to one page to give you their contact info. From there, they get a series of emails where you give it, providing them value, telling them more about you, why it should be a good fit, while also giving them some videos or copy or even adding them to a Facebook page so you can continue building that relationship with them, continue following up with them, because most of the time when someone comes to your site, they're just not ready to buy. So if, you can, if you're the business that builds a better relationship, they're gonna be more likely to go from a prospect to a customer all through the sales funnel. So I wanna encourage you guys to go check out our sales funnel. You can see all the automation tools we have in place. So it's a basic multiple choice form, three questions, first name, last name, and email. Now, as soon as you fill that out, you go into our MailChimp, you go into our HubSpot automatically. You also get a video. You'll Once you go to step two, you're gonna to go to my scheduling page where you can schedule a good time to, to speak with me to see if it's a good fit or to see if it's a demo. Um, I also have a video here telling you what to expect next. If you schedule with me, I'll call you on the day and time that you choose. I also tell them to choose their time zone. So go test this out. It's um, You go to our website and you click on the start button at the top. You'll be able to see our sales funnel and just let me know if you have any questions. Uh, one last thing about automation tools, you can set up a live chat like this where you can go in and ask some automated questions, build the relationship with them through the chat and get them to sign up with you as a customer. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And if you can share this with anyone, um, that would be great. And I hope you have a great day. Are you sick of all the information being thrown at you by all the hype and gurus online? Hey there, my name is Brad Smith with AutomationLinks.com. Six days a week, I answer user questions with the exact tips, strategies, and insights we use to grow our business.